Passion, purpose, and persistence are three things that you all need to be focusing on if you want to achieve greatness in your life. Let's talk about the first one, passion. What are you passionate about? What is it you want to do? What do you wake up every single day dreaming about? What's something that you really want to do but you still haven't done yet? Think about that for a second. Now, if I was to say to all of you that you could do something but you couldn't fail at it, how many of you would do more of it? How many of you would actually sit down to take action and do something? I think a lot of you would. The issue is you have too many little voices in your head. Many years ago, there was a mentor of mine, his name was Blair Singer, and he, he wrote a book called a little voice mastery. And he said that every single one of us, we have a little voice. And if you go, I don't have a little voice. He said, that's the voice he's talking about. When we're looking at the thing that we are passionate about, our passion comes from doing the things that we should be doing, that you know instinctively you should be doing. In fact, all of you know that there's a bigger version inside of you wanting to do this, but you still haven't done it yet. The question is why? And I think it comes down to a very simple question of, you feel a little bit of failure, you feel like you're maybe not good enough, maybe some imposter syndrome. But honestly, like, you don't wanna to get to the end of your life and then trying to have these regrets. That's not really what life is. Life is about living a fulfilled life. For me, I love to travel. I'm in Shanghai right now. By the way, do you know Shanghai stands for go fishing? <laughs> my tour guy just told me that. And it's interesting because my parents came here 30 years ago and they came back and it's like, John is completely different. You gotta look at something that you are really, truly passionate about and start focusing on that. That is the first P. Now, the second P is your purpose. So how do you know if something you're doing is actually the purpose of why you're doing it? If I ask you this question, the thing that you're doing right now, if you did not get paid money to do it, would you still do it? If you didn't get paid money to do it, would you still do it? And you know, most people would say to me, no way. So that means the thing that you're doing is not actually what you're purposeful to do. I have a friend of mine, his name is Mark. His purpose in life is to redefine health, get people to really prevent things from happening. His father died of cancer and doctors only gave him a certain amount of time to live and he was able to extend his life for many years all because of nutrition so that's his purpose like if he didn't get paid to do it he would still do it I want you to think about is the thing that you're doing is it purposeful the simple question to always think about is is it making impact do you know it's funny because when I start putting things on social media sometimes I say is anyone actually watching this stuff is anyone actually getting any value from this stuff because sometimes I see a lot of people watch my stuff, but they don't leave any comments or any aha moments. From now on, if you watch my videos, if you get some level of value from this, I'm asking you to leave some aha moments. Why? One, so I know that you've actually got something from this. But two, it's a reminder that everything that you do, it gives you like this little aha moment. The aha moments make a big difference to our life because sometimes, you know, when I go to seminars and I go to training programs, I always ask myself this question, what am I learning? I have no idea what I'm learning. So do you know what I do? I turn to the back of the book and I write down all these aha moments. And the aha moments are when I go back and say, what did I learn at that event? What did I learn at that seminar? What did I learn at Mastermind? It always comes down to turning to the back and I see all these big aha moments written down. That's actually how I get my big aha moments. And that's how I summarize a lot of the things that I learned. I may want to encourage you to do that. And the first step is just commenting on the video and just letting me know. Let me know what is the biggest aha moment you got. And also what action step. You see, education is great, but education without action is nothing. So you've got to start making sure you implement things. So first is what is the aha moment? And second thing, what is the action step? What are you gonna do next? And I think that serves as a fundamental part of our purpose. What are you gonna do next? For me, I wanna create a lot of content for you to really give the message that you can do anything that you wanna do and you must believe that anything is possible. It's interesting because my tour guide was kind of watching me do these videos as she showed me around. It's like, what do you do? And in one sense, it's like, well, I help people achieve success. If I go around now and see all these people here in Shanghai, if I ask everybody, what's their definition of success? They'll go straight to money. But success is not about money. Success is also about your health. Do you have successful health? Do you have successful fulfillment in your life? Do you have successful relationships? These are all things that make up success. I really want you to pay close attention to the things that you do. Is it purposeful? Would you do it even if you didn't get paid to do it? And that's a really good indication of is what you're doing the right thing to do. Let's move to the last one now, persistence. I have friends who want to become actors and they spend years and years and years and years and for like a decade they don't get anything. But do you know what happens? One day they get the major role in a film. That's persistence. Persistence 
to carry on moving forward despite failures, despite fear, despite what people think, despite why you're doing what you're doing. I encourage you to number one, write down why you wanna do what you wanna do. And number two, write down what are the consequences of not doing it. For me, when I worked in a job, I was always asking the question, if I don't do what I do, what would I be doing now? And I'd probably still be in the film industry making films, there's nothing wrong with that. It's what I enjoy, it's what I like. But I realized by taking that leap of faith, and that leap of faith means you jump out of a plane and you can't get back in the plane. That's what a leap of faith means. So I really want you to take action on this, right? Don't just watch the stuff that I'm putting out. Actually do something and let me know the results that you get. I really want to just improve people's lives 1% a day, every day. Your commitment is you're going to listen to it, you're going to take action upon it, and then you're going to hopefully make an impact. And then my only ask is you pay it forward to somebody else. By the way, if any of you want to learn more about the whole business and investing space, we run a lot of virtual events. Check out the description. I'll give you a complimentary ticket to attend for free. You see, here's another thing. I was like, should I give people a ticket for free or should I charge them? Because what I realized is when I give it for free, people love it, but then sometimes they don't show up. But if I have people pay for it, sometimes they say, John, what I have to pay for this? But then you know what? My show rate is really high. So I'm always in this conundrum of, should I do it for free or should I charge? So anyway, I'm gonna give this as a gift to all of you. So just make sure that you check out the link in the description. One last thing, if you have any questions as well, comment below and I'll personally come and answer those questions myself. And also share this video with somebody who is really struggling to get stuff done. Last thing, is what you're doing today making you happier or making you sad? For most people, John is making me happy, 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 happy. But there'll come a day where it starts becoming a little bit sad. And when you get to that point, you must redefine why you're doing what you're doing. So when I first started in real estate and the whole entrepreneurship, I was like, how do I make more money? Then I made all this money and said, okay, what do I do with the money? I wanna go and have fun with it with my friends, but I know my friends were not really making any money. So I'm like, what if I could educate people to do it? What if I could help people do it? What if I could get people to a stage where they really can start to grow to the next level? Then for me, then my job is done. I want you to play close attention, your purpose, your passion, and your persistence, and I want you to triple down on all three of these. Make sure you check out this video here as well.